Yo, what's going on guys? This is Nazgata for MMOBomb.com and I am bringing you guys my personal first look of an amazing game that just got released as a free to play game. Of course we're talking about City of Heroes Freedom. It's an MMORPG published by NCSoft. It's a very, very unique game and I want to spend about 10 to 15 minutes just running around showing you the very in-depth character creation and a little bit about the game itself. If you'd like to try out this game or you want to download this game for yourself and look it out for yourself and try it yourself and play it yourself, then make sure you look in the links below because all of the links are in the description and they're provided for you there for you to go ahead and do this for yourself. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and sign in. And here we are basically. Go ahead and log in here. This game's an absolutely amazing game. I love this game. I'm not 100% sure how to really play the game, but that's exactly why we call it a first look. Basically, this game is now a free-to-play game where it was before. It was basically a 14-day trial. Yes, okay, I'm going to create a character here. With the non-VIP membership for the game itself, you actually get a chance to unlock two character creation sec uh, slots. Let's go ahead and hit next. Next, next, next. There we go, next. And there we go. We can either be City of Heroes or this is obviously for premium players. As you can see this little shopping cart here. Let's go Science. There is Mutation, Magic, Technology, and Natural. I think I'm going to go ahead and be Mutation. And I can either choose to play a Hero or Villain. Now that's going to happen within the game itself. It's kind of like you were playing... Fable, if you were, because that's where it's going to basically, you choose your own destiny. At this point in time, I can either be a tank, melee damage, range, crowd control, support, and obviously a class that's got pet class in it. Now, this is going to be their 21, 21th issue of the game itself. And uh, that is absolutely amazing. They don't actually call them expansions or anything like that. They actually call them issues to keep the whole comic book theme going. There is a maximum level cap of 50 levels and you are accessible to all 50 levels absolutely free. There is a huge premium section within the game itself and... Um, yeah, it does cost money to actually complete some certain uh, levels within the game, so I find that that was a little bit of a turnoff for me, because I've already actually started playing this game a little bit already, and uh, I found that, that was definitely a turnoff. But anyway, so here we are in the primary power section, and then you can actually customize your secondary power section as well. There is literally... I could spend the entire 15 minutes just in the character creation section because that's how crazy it is. But uh, let's go ahead and do dual blades. I'm going to do a power slice because that sounds cool. Let's see here. And then I'm going to do um, invulnerability. And we're going to go with, uh, I guess we can only pick that one for right now. But these will be all of the skills that I will unlock. So let's go next. And now we can actually pick our body type. Wait a second here. Yes, they do have it. That is the most important part of any game in the world, is that you can do this. Okay, that's enough of that, because I could spend 15 to 20 minutes just talking about that. So there you go, there's your brute character, there's more of your physique character. You can actually make him short, tall, whatever it may be, but I can actually increase him and decrease him. You can be a little tiny midget. He can be this little tiny guy, he's completely physiqued, he's broad shoulders, his chest is huge, waist is huge, hips is okay, his legs are like that, so let's go next. 
Now this is where it can get literally crazy. You can literally color every single section of your body. Let's go ahead and see some of the stuff that they've got. Um, so let's go, let's go red. Yeah, that looks good. It's kind of like an Iron Man kind of look. But you can see all of these different ones, and these are all 100% free. And uh, basically, that's, let's go ahead and see what this guy looks like. This guy, Tuxedo Man guy, and but then you can actually purchase some as well. Literally, there's so much to do just in the character creation section. It's unbelievable. If you like customizing your character and all of that good stuff, then this is where you want to be. I know I'm spending a lot of time here, but this is really the main aspect of the game itself, is creating your character, customizing it to exactly the way that you want it to be. I can literally color every single portion of my body, and it's just, it's absolutely nuts. So let's just go ahead and hit next. That looks good. Dual blade, sure, that looks fine. Let's go ahead and type in our character name here. And we go next. And sure, that looks great. Uh, do I want to play the tutorial? Sure. Let's go ahead and pick the tutorial. Do you want to complete the character creation section? Yes. I recommend if this is the first time you're playing, or even if it isn't the first time you've played this game, I recommend that you definitely take a look at the character creation section and, and a lot more in depth. I also encourage that you go ahead and you do the tutorial itself. Now I spent about six minutes already just on the character creation because like I said, this game is really, really based on what your character looks like, what your hero or villain looks like, um, and basically that is going to be that for the character creation. Now let's go ahead and talk about the graphics. Now the graphics are not actually all that bad. They have updated it since the original City of Heroes and um, it, we'll just go ahead and let's show you here and here, let's go ahead and get into it here. So basically this is your character you move with W, A, S, and D. The camera angles kind of feel a little bit uh, a little bit uh, too um, familiar I guess if it were. Let's go ahead and space. There's my character there. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. We gotta find the blue spectrum. Okay. Now. There you go. Left click your power in the power tray. So that is how you're going to be able to attack. Now I don't really, I'm not a big fan of spamming your skills, but that's what this game's going to be all about. You basically actually have to physically attack using those skills. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go here and we got a little attack. Uh, it's a little bit too clunky right there. So let's go ahead and hit on this guy. And we're going to go like this. There we go. Come on. Attack him. Is he going to attack him here or what? So you actually physically have to press the button if you want to attack. If there's no auto attack system, there's none of that good stuff. But I will tell you this, that there is an arena hero versus villains. Obviously, you could, you could definitely expect that. So there you go. Now let's go ahead and show you a little bit more about the uh, the en enhancements in the game and the more of the is the it's not the skill tree section, but there, you, there's it's actually no looting within the game itself. It's more of just kill stuff. You get influence points. Your influence points can then upgrade your skills. Your skills can then. Be Oh, okay, we're pushing forward there, Chief. We're gonna push forward. Yay! Pushing forward. Woo! So basically, that is that. At this point in time, you're going to see me actually pick. Oh, there's the guy. There's Blue Spectrum right there. Blue Spectrum is hurt. He can absorb powers. Help him out by lending him some of yours. You have a moral choice. You can choose whether you want to be a hero or a villain. You will have a chance to change your alignment again after you reach level 20. So for the first 20 levels you can be a hero and then for the remainder 20, uh, well, remember 30 levels I should say, 
then you would be able to switch if you want to go back. So I'm going to go ahead and it's always best to be the hero. So let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to help him out. And we are now leveled up. Now the leveling up system is fairly low. The experience rate is really, really low for the game itself. But it is a free to play game and it is absolutely amazing. It's definitely something you guys should definitely go ahead and check out because this is going to be definitely the game for you. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more. And let's go up and train to the next level. And basically this is where we're going to choose our new powers. So we have a power slave, we have a obliterating strike, and uh, temp and vulnerability. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. Away you go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get in here. So, basically, there is going to be a brand new zone within this new within this game now, now that it's free to play. Free to play I should say. Um, well, obviously, there is the shop system through in the game, as you can you can see right here. Now there's going to be some new epic different challenges that you can do uh, where there's going to be an entire underground system that you can that you can um, access throughout the game. There's going to be new power sets and costumes now that they've added this to make it free to play. Um, it's going to have new missions, new different rewards. Obviously they've had to change up the reward system now that uh, it is free to play. Um, that is basically going to really be it. Let me tell you a little bit about the, uh, I think that the pros in this game is that the game is absolutely huge. A very, very, very unique, um, uh, hero system, uh, hero theme. Character creation is probably the best character customization screen you will ever find in a, in a game. I don't honestly think that you're going to find anything better. I mean, Perfect World and uh, their entire organization, I mean, you might be able to find something through them. I'm not 100% sure on that one. There is no PvP options, really. It's very, very, very limited to what you can do with PvP. Like I said, there is that arena system, but that is basically it. And something is emerging. What in that world is that? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have to go attack this thing, apparently. Let's, um... Let's attack this thing. Let's do it. Let's attack him. Let's just take him out. Let's just take him out. Um, <laughs> so basically that's gonna be it, guys. I mean, there is not too much to do within this uh, this game and it's the same essentially it is the exact same game as it was before um, it's just that they've now added oh, I just owned him that's right I owned you I owned you you are now mine forever and um, basically I'm going to leave it off at this because now uh, basically I'm ready to move forward um, and I'll look at the store later, but let's go ahead and take a look at the store right now because, well, why would we not? And basically, I think my game has crashed. Okay, so I thought that my game potentially might have crashed. Um, so let's go ahead and just exit out of this. This is the... Um, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I don't think you can, so I'm just going to exit out of that. I'm not too worried about it. Um, but anyways, there is an entire store system within the game. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I did have a little bit of a problem there for a second or two. But uh, we're back, anyways. But uh, anyway, so basically, the there is there is a lot to do with the premium VIP. You can actually purchase your VIP, and basically, what that's going to do is literally unlock the entire game for you 
Um, the VIP system, it, it, I don't know if it's going to break this game. I'm not 100% sure if they think that it's going to do any justice whatsoever. And to be honest, I think that it very well might. Because you actually have to, in order for me to advance right now, through in the game itself, I do have to purchase the next quest. And I think that that is going to really ruin the game. So these are my final thoughts. Basically, that is going to be that. If you guys want to really try out this game or learn a little bit more about this game, make sure you look in the description below. Because that's basically been my time, guys. My name's Niskata. You guys have just watched MMOBomb.com. And you guys have just watched City of Heroes Freedom. Obviously, Freedom was the name that they decided to pick because of the fact that this is 100% free to play now. Anyways, guys, till next time, this has been Niskata for MMOBomb.com. And you guys have just watched City of Heroes Freedom, an NCSoft published game. Anyways, guys, see you later. Peace.